Hey guys, it's Parker here, back with part 2 of Fire Over 3 Houses, the Blue Lines Route. So, while this epic battle theme is going on, let's let us battle, I mean, go rat hunting. I go down to destroy these archers first. Okay, so I have a lot to say about the tragedy of the Dusker and how Dimitri keeps on well, blaming Edogar for all of it. And I just want to say, Edogar was too young to start something like that. And I just want to say that she was the victim from the people that started the tragedy of Duster. She was basically kidnapped, then she was experimented on, and all of her siblings were killed. So I just want to say that she's the victim in all of this. Like, She's a victim, like you, Dimitri. And blaming it all on Edelgard is just really sad. And what's also sad is that... He never gets to know the truth. That Edelgard never did it. Never did all, all of the tragedies. What's my strategy? And he just dies by Edelgard in the Black Eagle's route, so... Yeah, it just makes everything all sad. This story is really sad. Why can't we all just get along? Okay, I'll just try to get this guy. All is going to plan. So yeah, I'll just be trying to get all the archers here. The Silas is weak to archery. Okay, Dimitri, let's see what you're made out of. Too weak for this world. This power for the greater good. With each kill, more monstrous. Sir, we must speak later. I know it's been five years, but I never expected the monastery to end up like this. Oh, I haven't seen any of you in such a long time. I'm so glad to see you're alive. We'll help out from here. It's over, thieves! Why? Why are you here? Everyone is here. Alright. Now they have a healer and everyone is here. This will be nice. Okay. I disposed of doubt long ago. Won't be in vain. Ah! 
child's play. Ah! Ah! Another victim. This could turn the tides. Eventually, I too will fall. I won't falter. I must steal myself. a nest of thieves. Professor, you're alive after all. But first things first, let's defeat these thieves. I'll lend a hand. We'll catch up later. Listen up. We must end this quickly. than before. How 
best to use this skill. There are openings to the north and south. We'll split into two and tear them apart. going to plan. No turning back now. Gotta use your head sometimes. It had to be done. It's my duty. You were unprepared. is critical. Don't bother haunting me.
promised five years ago, we meet here and now. Another victory. Without power, who can you protect? Here is something to believe! Ah! I must lead them well. All for our future. I'm glad we could meet again, Professor. It'll be nice to fight alongside each other, just like old times. Professor, has it really been five years? You're as pretty as ever, and that's the only thing that matters. I'll comply. Fancy meeting you here. A welcome surprise. No hesitation! This could turn the tides. Not bad. Not bad at all. One to remember. Strength never betrays. This level of mastery is enough. What's the plan? Just be careful. What's my strategy? This 
could turn the tides. This experience is critical. No! I'm not the one you want! Uh, I guess I've got no choice! Wait, that's it? It isn't looking good for us. Should we retreat? You didn't plan on letting him get away, did you? I've got you! I won't falter. Ah, you should yield me a tidy profit. I thought it would be easy money. Maybe it wasn't meant to be. Your Highness! Professor! I'm so glad you're both safe. Why are you here? Did you forget? We all made a promise on this very day five years ago. Dimitri, weren't you the one who asked that we all meet up here? Don't be silly. Of course you remember our promise. That's why you and the Professor are here, right? Your Highness, I have been following news of your whereabouts for a while now. I am relieved to have finally found you. Do not call me that. I am not a prince, but a walking corpse. That is what we all believed, but it is not so. I can see with my own eyes that you are alive, Your Highness. But the jail cells in Ferdiat are as solid as they come. How did you manage to... To do? He's dead. He died in my place. I see. We will be sure to honor his loyalty, Your Highness. As for the state of the kingdom, the lords from the western regions have declared their fealty to the Empire, starting with House Roe. Cornelia's band of traitors now refers to kingdom territory as the Fargus Dukedom. They've made Ferdiad their stronghold as they continue to invade the eastern region. There is much to tell you. I will explain everything in time. Well, it's not like all of the Kingdom's lords have sided with the Empire. There are plenty of houses, like mine and Felix's, that remain stubbornly opposed. Your Highness, please allow us to take up arms at your side once more. What we need more than anything isn't soldiers, money, or supplies. We need the legitimate heir of Fargus to overthrow the Empire and reclaim the Kingdom. Such is your duty. It is yours alone to bear, and well worth fighting for. Only you can gather our troops and lead us back into the light. I see. So, you all agree that we must fight back. And you see how that woman, how the Empire cannot be forgiven. That we must wipe them all out until not a single one of them remains. Wipe them all out? Um, I don't think any of us here are suggesting anything that extreme. <sighs> Professor, there is something I would like to ask you. Please, join me inside the monastery. think you survived under all that rubble for the past five years. I suppose stranger things have happened. 
odd as that is to admit. There is still much I would like to ask you, but I think that's enough for now. On that day five years ago, during the battle with the Imperial Army, Lady Rhea went missing. Since then, the Knights of Seros have continued searching for her. And for you, I hear they have yet to find any promising leads. As the Empire has yet to release a statement, it's hard to imagine that she has perished. And yet... No, never mind. Once news of your survival gets out, everyone will flock back to the monastery. After that battle, a certain incident took place in Ferdiad. Rufus, who was serving as King Regent, was murdered. I was once a knight in service of the royal family. I resigned from the Knights of Seros and returned to serve the kingdom. However... This is madness. You truly claim that His Highness is the one who killed Rufus? Oh, but it's true. The only one who could slip past the bodyguards and kill so efficiently is the young prince. You can't deny it. Rufus is Prince Dimitri's uncle. His Highness is incapable of such an atrocious crime as murdering his own blood. Ah, but they were never very close, were they? It's a well-known fact among former retainers. There are even rumors that Rufus was originally involved in the tragedy of Dusker. Perhaps His Highness believed those rumors, and murdered Rufus in a fit of rage. <laughs> but uh, I'm afraid none of that matters now. Cornelia, do not tell me that you... The decision has been made. His Highness will pay for his crime with his head. His sentence will be carried out the day after tomorrow. On that day, the royal bloodline will come to an end. All you have left to do is sit back and watch, you senile old fool. Watch as the kingdom you love falls to ashes. It was soon after announced that his sentence had been carried out. With His Highness's death, the royal bloodline of House Blathed was erased from this world. True to her word, all we could do was watch as she tore the kingdom apart before our eyes. Since the execution and the prince's corpse were concealed from the public, there have always been those who believed His Highness was still alive. As for myself, I only began to hope three years ago when I chanced upon some compelling rumors. An Imperial platoon attacked without warning. Incident after incident of Imperial generals being slaughtered in Kingdom territory. It is said that each died in such a brutal, gruesome way that it is hard to imagine they were killed by human hands. I followed the rumors to location after location. Eventually, I had seen enough. I knew the rumors were true. Finally, after a half decade of torment, it happened. I found him. Uh, I fear his deep hatred and the weight of his solitude have consumed him for far too long. We must bring him back from the edge on which he stands. To that end, I must speak with His Highness. I imagine it will not be a quick or easy conversation. I pray that he is of a mind to speak of such things. I am certain that my words will... Uh, never mind. What must be done, must be done. I would wager that you are weary after the day's events. Perhaps you should take this opportunity to get some rest. Part 2 Azure Moon Guardian Moon The Delusional Prince Prince Dimitri and the remnants of the royal army join with the remaining Knights of Seros to form a revitalized kingdom army. Using Garrig Mach as their base of operations, they rise to action against the Empire. Okay, oh wow. 
Dimitrios frame, huh? Each unit has grown over the past five years. It's checked their classes and weapons. Oh. You! So you were alive after all. Professor, it is so good to see you again. My brother and I were worried about you. Oh, thank the goddess. I couldn't bear the thought of letting Gerald down by not finding you. Guess you lucked out. We've been looking everywhere for you, but I see Lady Rhea isn't with you. Damn. Everyone was real worried about you, Professor. Gilbert has told us everything. From here on, our strength is yours as well. Does my heart well to see that all of you are safe. Now that we have all gathered, let's discuss our next course of action. We have two objectives. To overthrow the Empire and to rescue Rhea. I have no objection to joining forces with you. After all, our interests are aligned. Nothing could be more reassuring than securing the cooperation of the Knights of Seros. The Archbishop entrusted all of her affairs to you. From now on, I shall comply with your wishes. We'll make Garrick Mok our base, and prepare to make our stand against the Empire. There is a fair amount of damage, but we will at least have shelter from the wind and rain. Surely those Imperial jerks have this place staked out, right? It's a highly strategic location. While it may be a strategic location, it's too far from the front lines to be worthy of notice at the moment. This area is inconvenient as far as transport time is concerned, so it's of little importance to their war effort. Even so, nothing slips past the Emperor. It is safe to assume she at least has this place under surveillance. Professor, what do you think about making this place our base? Fortunately, there are still villages and hamlets nearby. And though I wouldn't call them abundant, we have war funds as well. What do you think, Your Highness? Do as you please. Hey, don't act like this doesn't concern you. We finally reunited after all this time. We've got to work together. She's right. In fact, why don't we all join forces and clean this place up a bit? Oh, yeah, that's a great idea. And it'll give us time to reminisce about all the good old days at the Academy. I can't wait. How carefree of you. It may sound trivial, but, well, I think it's a good idea. I understand feeling impatient, Your Highness, but patience is key at a time like this. If we fix up our base, it will improve morale, which will be sorely needed as we... Fools. Stay out of this! Please, calm yourself, Your Highness. We are not your enemies. My enemies say the same. What happened to him? It's like he's a completely different person. I feel so bad for him. Would it help if I brewed him a nice pot of tea? I cannot claim to understand how he feels. However, the way he's behaving, it's as though he's being haunted by some unseen force. As am I. All right, and with that, we will end part two of Fire Emblem Three Houses the Blue Eyes Route. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.